Good morning listeners of Hot Topic and Fresh News, today the 3rd of April, 2024, and we have urgent news for you. A powerful earthquake with a magnitude of 7.2 struck near Taiwan early this morning, causing significant devastation. The epicenter was identified approximately 16 miles southeast of Hualien County, at a depth of nearly 10 miles. Tragically, the quake has led to the collapse of several buildings in Hualien County, where at least seven fatalities have been reported and over 700 injuries. Rescue efforts are ongoing, with at least 75 individuals, including two German nationals, trapped in various locations such as a tunnel in Taroko National Park. The director of Taipei Seismology Center, Wu Qian Fu, has called this the strongest earthquake in 25 years, reminding many of the 1999 quake that claimed the lives of 2,400 people. Following today's quake, officials have warned of the potential for aftershocks in the coming days. On an international scale, Japan's meteorological agency issued, then later lifted, a tsunami warning for Japan's southern islands. Meanwhile, Prime Minister Fumio Kishida of Japan has offered assistance to Taiwan, underscoring the gravity of this natural disaster. Stay tuned as we continue to provide updates on this developing story. Hello everyone, and welcome to another episode of Hot Topic and Fresh News, the daily podcast where we dive into the most pressing news stories. I'm your host, Emily, broadcasting straight from New York City. Joining me today is David, our insightful commentator hailing from San Francisco. Together, we're here to break down today's headlines in a way that's easy to understand and relevant to you, our listeners. Thanks, Emily. It's great to be here. There's certainly no shortage of topics to discuss today. Absolutely, David. And to all our listeners, if you're finding our podcast informative and engaging, please consider subscribing to our channel, enabling notifications, and sharing our episodes with your friends and family. Your support really helps us keep this show running and delivering the news you need to know. That's right, Emily Norma. Engaging with our content not only keeps you informed but also helps us reach more listeners who can benefit from our analyses. Speaking of news, today's headline is quite a shocker, and I can't believe what I'm about to disclose. Stay tuned, because you won't want to miss this. It's a story that reflects not only the immediacy of global events but also their impact right here at home. It's definitely a reminder of how interconnected our world is, Emily. I'm eager to dive into the details with you. Hot off the press. Let's get started. Can you elaborate on the scale of the earthquake that hit Taiwan and its immediate impacts? Certainly. The earthquake was a powerful 7.2 magnitude and struck early Wednesday morning. It was centered about 16 miles southeast of Hualien County at a depth of nearly 10 miles. The tremor was so severe it led to the death of at least 7 people and injured over 700. Additionally, more than 26 buildings collapsed, many in Hualien County itself. What's the situation regarding those trapped because of the earthquake? Rescue efforts are ongoing, with at least 75 people reported trapped. This includes two German nationals caught in a tunnel at Taroko National Park. The challenge is immense, given the structural damages and the ongoing risk of aftershocks. How significant is this earthquake in the context of Taiwan's geologic history? The director of Taipei Seismology Center, Wu Qian Fu, described it as the strongest earthquake in 25 years. It's comparable to the 1999 earthquake that tragically killed 2,400 people. Taiwan's geographic location near the junction of two tectonic plates subjects it to frequent seismic activity. What precautions are being advised for those in the affected areas? Authorities are urging the public to heed all warnings and messages and to be prepared for possible evacuations. There's a warning in place for potentially more tremors in the coming days, underscoring the need for vigilance. What international reactions have we seen so far? The international community has been quick to respond. The Japanese Prime Minister, Fumio Kishida, expressed his readiness to assist Taiwan. He highlighted the close relationship between Japan and Taiwan, especially in times of such crises. Japan even had a tsunami warning in effect for its southern islands, though it was later lifted. 
let's pivot slightly and talk about the regional implications of such natural disasters. Can you draw any parallels with previous significant events in the area? Absolutely. The earthquake in Taiwan echoes the tragic events of March 2011 when a 9.0 magnitude earthquake hit Honshu, Japan. That not only triggered a devastating tsunami but also led to the Fukushima nuclear disaster due to the loss of power to the nuclear reactors there. It was one of the deadliest and most destructive in recent history, with around 18,500 people killed or missing. How do these events shape regional preparedness for natural disasters? They significantly impact both national and regional disaster response strategies. For instance, the Philippines, which is also part of this tectonically active region, had issued tsunami warnings during the 2011 event and called for the evacuation of coastal areas, although the warnings were later cancelled. Such experiences underscore the critical need for robust early warning systems and effective evacuation plans. With Taiwan's recent quake, how might this affect future policy or international cooperation? It's likely to prompt a re-evaluation of earthquake readiness and response strategies not only in Taiwan but potentially across the entire Pacific Rim. The quick international responses, like those from Japan, also highlight the importance of cross-border cooperation in disaster management. The shared vulnerabilities to natural disasters can foster stronger ties and more collaborative approaches to disaster preparedness. It seems like the focus on resilience and cooperation will be key moving forward. Absolutely, and that's something we'll continue to watch closely. As we wrap up today's report, it's clear that the resilience of communities and nations in the face of such disasters is a testament to the human spirit and the importance of preparedness. Stay tuned for more updates and in-depth analysis right here on Hot Topic and Fresh News. Thanks for tuning in to Hot Topic and Fresh News today. We covered the severe earthquake in Taiwan and its broader implications. We appreciate you joining us and hope you found the discussion enlightening. Please subscribe and activate the notifications so you never miss out on our analysis. Sharing and commenting actively helps us reach more people and engage in deeper discussions. We value your input and interaction. And remember, laughter might not prevent earthquakes, but it sure makes life feel a bit steadier. We're here every day, bringing you the latest and the greatest. There's always something interesting on the horizon here at Hot Topic and Fresh News. We're grateful for your time and look forward to having you with us in the next episode. Your insights and participation make our community vibrant and informed. Keep those notifications on, you won't want to miss what's coming up. Stay in the loop, keep your eyes on the news, our channel's content will amuse.